first of all, we're going to do a few loops, so that way um, we can do it without having to copy and paste stuff ten times. Okay, so I'm going to declare all my variables up at the top. I'm going to declare an int i, an ns string, new text, and an ns calendar date entry date. And I'm going to make new text an ns string init. And I'm going to make entry date ns calendar date calendar date. That's just going to get the current date. So wonderful, we have the current date and an empty ns string. So now we're going to do very basic steps to simply generate stuff and empty out the last set of entries. So we're going to say if not entries, if exclamation point entries, that means we've never said like entries is in fact an ns mutable array. So before you do anything with it, you have to set it to be an ns mutable array alloc in it. So we're going to say if bang entries, that means it's not allocated or initialized. We're going to make a um, an S mutable array alloc in it. That's pretty simple. And now we're going to say for i equals zero, i less than entries count i plus plus. We're going to do this. So this way, if we've run it previous times and entries was for say a um, the last set of entries we want to empty out all the entries within entries before continuing and adding stuff back in it. So first of all, an NS mutable array can contain a bunch of different types of objects. So there could be an NS string in it, and, an, and a lottery entry in it, and a app controller in it. You don't really know what's in it. So in this case, we know we're never going to add anything to it. It's not a lottery entry, so it's easy to guess what anything in an entry is going to be. So we're going to say entry array, double left bracket, or entries, okay, objected index i, okay, space, deallocate. And the way this works is basically we're going to Objected index is going to tell us in return the. It's twelve hours. In this case, it's probably going to be an entry or a lottery entry. It's going to return the lottery entry at that place in the array. And then, since every lottery entry has a deallocate method on it that we put here, it's you can just call deallocate. Now, the compiler might not be happy that we're just assuming that the object at the index i of entries is going to be a lottery entry and we can just do get rid of that pain and suffering that we have to deal with with a warning by doing left parenthesis lottery entry space star right parenthesis that's called casting it tells the compiler that we know what this is going to be so stop bugging us basically so now we're going to auto release that after deallocating it or we didn't really deallocate it, but you know we called deallocate on it. We're gonna auto release it, and that just means that it'll go away, and there's no way that it's gonna leak. So now we're going to do entries remove all objects, all objects, and that'll just get rid of everything in entries for once and for all. So now we're going to generate ten new entries. I'm going to say for i equals 0, i less than 10, i plus plus. And in here, we're going to do ns calendar date last date equals entry date. So this way, we still have a pointer to the last entry date. And then we're going to say entry date. We're going to make entry date a whole new thing, and last date will be the only thing pointing to the old entry date. We're going to make NS calendar dates alloc and it year. We're going to make it 
Ohio State Year of Common Era. Last date, month, year, day, last date, day of month. Hour, etc. And I guess you can probably get this at this point. Minute. And time zone is going to be nil. Okay, so this is a very wide function once again, so we can just new line it out here and make it beautiful and pretty. And there we go. So now it only fills up one screen. And now we're going to make a new lottery entry called LE. And we're going to make it a lottery entry Alloc. Yeah. And here we go. LA set date. And this is going to be the quite easy part. First number. Okay, so the first number is going to be a random number from 1 to 99. It's going to be a two digit number. So there's an easy way to generate a really long random number that might be 10 digits or something around that. So we're going to turn that into a two-digit number. So first of all, there's a method or a function called arc for random that will randomize a totally random long number. And then there's a function called or a modifier called mod, which is kind of like plus and divide and minus and subtract, except what it does is it gets the remainder. So if we do mod 99, it's going to be a number from 0 to to 99. And if we want it from being from 1 to 100, instead of from 0 to 99, we're going to add another left parenthesis and we're going to add 1 to it. So this way we're making a totally random number that's between 1 and 99. So there we go. Now we're going to set that as the second parameter and the third parameter. And there we go. So once again, we will set up everything. So, there. Now, we're going to say entry array, or not entry array, entries, add object, le. And there we go. Once again, so now we have an array that will have 10 items in it because this for loop runs 10 times with a bunch of lottery entries. So now we're going to finally display all the new lottery entries in the text box. So we're going to do another thing that goes 10 times. And instead of deallocating stuff in this array, we're going to display it in the text box. So I'm going to say lottery entry le equals entries object at index i. And once again, because we don't want the compiler to complain to us, we're going to cast it with the lottery entry star. So we do left parenthesis, lottery entry space star, right parenthesis. Okay, now we're going to do new text equals new text string by appending string, or not string, format. Okay, and then in here we're going to do percent at backslash n. And here's going to be le get string version. Okay, so I'm going to do cut here and uh, watch part three.